All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my channel. My name is Chandler, better known as Law T, and on today's episode, we are covering the most talked about topic in Frag Pro Shooter, implants. Yes, update 1.81 brought us the game-changing update of implants. I've spoken to so many of you on the Discord server, through game chat, through Twitter, and most of you as a whole, like me, are super excited for this brand new change and addition to the game. And you're so excited that you've subscribed to the channel, you've liked the video, and you're going to comment very soon. Some say this new update is pay to play. I'm here to show you, not necessarily. So let's get in today's episode. My name is Lord T. Here is my cup of tea, and this is Implants. So, implants are found on the character's screen. As you click on them, you'll see that there are four different types of implants. There are 12 different named implants, and each have four versions varying on the rarity. Common, rare, epic, and legendary. So like cards, implants have rarity factors too. So that brings the total of 48 different types of implants for you to find, earn and unlock in the game. So in this icon here, we can see that they are associated with the defense factor of a card. There is an implant to reduce damage. So when your opponent hits you, their damage will do a percentage less. There's one to increase your HP, which makes you even bulkier to survive longer. And one for health regeneration, for a small duration to recharge your HP. So basically, all of these three here are helping with the survivability of your cut in battle. This category is all about movement. So we have engaging speed, which increases movement while you're firing. You have walk speed, which increases your walk speed. And slow effect, which is to slow your opponent when they get hit by a shot from you. So if you're not a fan of the speed of a card, for whatever reason, you're going to be picking one of these implants. Power, I hear you say? Well, this category is all about the damage. You have an implant called Damage Boost, which quite obviously boosts your damage. You have Fire Rate, which obviously, again, improves the fire rate of a card. And Fire Effect. So the opponent is going to take damage on top of the damage when you hit them with a bullet as normal. Think of characters like Duncan, right? When they hit them with the basketball, they're still taking that burn damage after. This is exactly what this implant is going to give to any card that you choose it on. I already have some great choices of cards to use this and why, but I'm going to explain that in a video at a later date. But this is the one that I'm most excited for. Then we have this category that is pretty special. You have an implant called Ability Cooldown, which of course reduces the cooldown time of your ability, so you get to use them more frequently. Ability Duration makes your ability last longer. And then you have this one, Respawn Time, which reduces how long it takes for a card to respawn. So quite clearly, if you equip this to a common card, it comes in even quicker. Or if you level this implant up enough, you can equip it to your epic and legendary cards. So they're taking next to no time at all to come back into the game if and when they get fragged. So that's the list of all of them. They're pretty much all outstanding. Some are a lot better than others, but all of them have their own niche when equipped to the right card using the right strategy. You can equip a maximum of four implants to a single card. One from each of the categories. This is amazing for so many reasons, right? One, it adds a new dynamic and level to the game, keeping it fresh and consistently developing and changing the meta. So no one card is going to be considered the best and not everyone is gonna spam the one card. There's gonna be so much combinations online now. Oh my word, this is what we've needed in Frag for so long. Number two, there will be less whining to the developers, right? Why? Because now you're a mod, right? You don't like certain things about a character. Don't whinge about it. Make a change in the game with an implant, right? You can mod and change the cards however you like. Yes, there will be some cards that are stronger than others. But if you have the right combination of implants on, you have no worries of who you're using and why you're going to use that card. Let's say, for example, you don't like a certain card because it's slow. All right, 
select the walk speed implant. Let's say that you wish that a car did more damage. Say no more. You're gonna equip it one that does a damage boost. You want to be truly evil and freeze down your opponent so they get stuck in a tower longer, taking even more damage and fragging them before they even have a chance to fire. <coughs> Where was I? But yeah, you get the point. You can alter and create your own combinations to make any card absolutely freaking incredible. Point number three, fun cards become great and great cards become awesome. So as I briefly covered in the last point, you can customize your cards in so many awesome combinations. For example, and these are just a few off the top of my head. I don't want to give away too much already because I want you to have the enjoyment of developing it and finding them yourself, right? For example, many of us loved Blot, but Blot received a debuff a while ago that lowered his damage and saw a drop in his usage and he lost his spot in the meta. This is no longer a problem. I mean, you're just going to equip him damage boost and he's buffed right back up to his glory again. Awesome! Fragman. He is one of my favourite first cards that I ever unlocked when I began a year ago playing Frag, but his debuff hit his fire rate and weapon range. Well, I can just attach fire rate implant and he's good to go and he's brilliant again, dealing damage up in his usage in the game. The combinations and possibilities are truly endless and unpredictable, meaning every single card can win a game with the right support and setup. Even if your card is lower level than the opponent, this is not an issue because if you've got the right implants on, your lower level card is still going to outdo their card. Don't worry if they're higher than you. Implants makes the game incredible. But the pay to plays. Yes. All right. Let's address this quickly. Every single game has a pay to play base. It's normal and you should be fine with that. Let me tell you why. If they're paying and putting their money into the game, it means that you and me can continue to play for free. The game needs money to continue to grow and develop. So if these players are putting the money in for us, the game continues to develop and we continue to enjoy. Yes, the pay to plays will unlock items a little bit quicker than us who play for free. And yes, they will get cosmic skins. That's fine if they want to spend the money on making their character look good, it doesn't actually mean that they play good. Because none of that, cosmic skins and all that, improves the way that they play. I mean, they're just painting a target on their head to be whooped in a game. And everything that they unlock, apart from the cosmic skins, you get in chess anyway by playing for free and just unlocking them. So don't hate on the pay to play players. Thank them welcome them and then when you beat them with the skills and tips that you've got or gained from this video you'll be sat there all happy and merry so how can you get implants well currently there are three ways in frag pro shooter method number one now this will vary and is at the discretion of the devs but there is currently one at the moment and that's in events all right it's the second year fragiversary so well done to the whole team involved in that Happy second birthday, Frag, and I look forward to my implants from this event. Another way is in chess. Now, these are specific implant chests, right? They come at 250 gems for a rare implant chest. There's an epic implant chest for 750 gems. And for those of you who have 2,500 gems lying about, there is a legendary implant chest. Now, what you get in each one varies, but here they are on the screen. Rare implant means 460 chips and 98 implants. 16 of these will be rare, two of these minimum will be epic. In your epic chest, you'll have 1,232 chips, you'll have 197 implants, where at least 39 of them will be rare and seven of them will be epic. And then you have the big legendary implant chest that gives you a whopping 3,248 chips, 295 implants that 58 of them at least will be rare, 20 of them at least will be epic, and you're going to get at least one legendary implant in this chest. Now you've seen the currency chips on the screen. Chips are what you need to pay to level up your implants. Just like you need gold to pay for leveling up a card, chips are what funds the upgrading on implants. 
So don't worry if you get a load of these at the start and not too many implant cards. That's a good thing in the long run. And then the third way is through Frag Force. Yep, help General Mech to preserve peace in the Frag universe. I have a video coming out next Monday on this. I don't want to go too much on the ins and outs to this today because this is in that video next Monday on how to be successful for each mission and how each card affects the percentage of you completing it. So make sure that you are subscribed and got the notifications on so you don't miss out on that. But let's have a look at the rules, all right? It says the world needs you more than ever. Join the Frag Force Ops to preserve peace. That's exactly what I said a minute ago. Each operation has a difficulty level and a timer to be completed. You need to choose five cards to start the operation. The cards selected won't be available in any other game mode for the whole timer, so choose wisely. You can at any time cancel an operation, but no reward will be earned. And then, of course, the rewards depend on the difficulty and ops timer. So yeah, the rewards can be implants, they can be chips. So as long as you're successful in your missions, you're going to be unlocking a lot of these in Frag Pro Shooter. This is absolutely incredible. Even more incredible than my new mic improving the audio in my videos. No, you're right. Frag Force is a lot better. Implants is a new addition to the game that I welcome and in my opinion has been long overdue for that change and new diversity to what is already an epic, incredible, addictive, lovable and enjoyable game. So that's everything that you need to know on Implants in Frag Pro Shooter. I have videos coming very soon on what combination of implants suit what type of characters. But my next frag video is on Friday. So make sure that you've liked, subscribed to the channel, and of course, left a comment. Are you excited? Are you looking forward to implants? Let me know down below. But that's gonna be it for today. Thank you, everyone. My name is Lord T. Here is my cup of tea, and I'll see you next time.